the soldier suddenly began to vomit, and pulled a strand of a woman's hair from his throat, then he vomited a puddle of black blood, in the blood was a crumpled piece of paper, it read, this forest will become your grave, a millennial old witch who has lost her beloved, in a cursed military garrison, a deadly revenge is about to unfold, without further ado, let's get started, Alina and Andre, have been in a stable relationship for many years, they are about to enter the halls of marriage, however, Alina has been having nightmares lately, there is a terrifying monster in her dreams, it constantly calls out Andre's name, generally speaking, a nightmare shouldn't be too concerning, but Alina is not like ordinary people, she is actually a very powerful witch, since meeting Andre, she willingly sealed her powers, to live as an ordinary woman, a witch's dreams have prophetic significance, sure enough, war broke out not long after, to escape the turmoil, Andre planned to send Alina, to Ivano Frankivsk, he needed to return to the army. At this time, the streets were filled with checkpoints and soldiers. Alina didn't want to run too far. She asked Andre to take her to her aunt's house. It was safe there, with relatives to take care of her. Andre had no choice but to agree. The car had not gone far. When they were stopped by a group of Russian soldiers, the commanding officer approached to check their documents. The deputy seems to have something to report and pulled him aside. Two soldiers, seeing Alina's beauty, began to make lewd comments, and behave improperly, the deputy officer over there reported, that our car is broken down, why not take the opportunity to steal their car, they could drive the man away, and keep the woman for their amusement, after making their decision, they surrounded the car, they ordered the two to get out of the car, Andre quietly reached for his handgun, he suddenly pushed open the car door, knocking down a soldier, then Andre fired, killing several soldiers, Andre slammed down on the accelerator, and charged forward, he ran directly over the deputy, they left the Russian soldiers behind, Andre drove until late at night before daring to stop, his aunt quickly came out to greet them upon seeing them, at this moment, Alina saw her hands covered in blood, it turned out, Andre had been shot during the escape, she hurriedly helped Andre out of the car, and wanted to use her magic, to bring him back to life, but she was temporarily unable to break the seal, Alina could only watch as Andre died, his soul departed alongside the Grim Reaper, she couldn't help, but let out a painful howl, her piercing scream, reached the ears of the Russian officers, afterward, Alina cleaned her beloved's body, Alina had survived for over a thousand years, and had lived through countless different lives, she had witnessed hundreds of wars, one batch after another of humanity had perished, but none of them, could compare to the loss of Andre, Alina vowed to make the villains pay, she asked her aunt, to help burn Andre's body, then Alina picked up an axe, and smashed through the wall, she re-entered the long sealed chamber, Alina walked up to a mirror, the ring tattoo on her hand, was actually the shackles used to bind her magic, Alina took off her robe, and directly used scissors, to cut the tattoo on her wrist, in the next moment, the shackles vanished, the tattoo on her wrist faded away as well, power flowed back into Alina's veins, Alina reclaimed her witch's magic, on the other side, Several Russian officers were in a meeting, the British had blown up the supply line ahead, they were stuck in place, unable to receive food supplies, so it would be best to scour the locals nearby, to requisition some supplies, to survive the harsh winter. After a quick discussion, they set off immediately, they began to loot food rampantly, and brazenly robbed the local residents, and assaulted the innocent civilian girls, screams echoed throughout the street, an old woman who tried to intervene, was shot dead on the spot. In the afternoon, the soldiers returned heavily laden, they also kidnapped a girl named Aga, and brought her to the camp, the commander scolded them for their reckless behavior, but the soldiers didn't care at all, they said, it was fine to lock Aga in a nearby shelter, she wouldn't take up any supplies or space, only a young man named Mike, disapproved of his companion's actions, they were soldiers, not bandits, their behavior these past few days, was disgraceful for soldiers, the soldiers were busy seeking pleasure. Unaware the true disaster was about to strike, Alina wiped the blood off the railing, with a handkerchief. In the evening, the deputy at the camp is coughing incessantly. He quickly dug at his throat with his hand. The deputy pulled out a long strand of hair. Then he vomited a puddle of black blood. The deputy fished out a piece of paper from the mess. It read, These woods will become your grave. The deputy was so frightened he lost his composure. In the next moment, his injured leg from the car accident began to bleed. It felt as if something was tearing through his flesh from the inside. The deputy's heart rate skyrocketed. His eyes, nose, and mouth began to spout blood uncontrollably. Finally, the deputy collapsed to the ground. 
He died inexplicably. The soldiers didn't know that this is a witch operating from behind. They thought the lieutenant had suffered a sudden illness. The deputy felt uneasy, sensing that something was about to go wrong. He sent Bandos to return Aga. It was inappropriate for civilians to stay in the camp. Bandos reluctantly drove Aga back. He was too lazy to drive all the way back to the village. Bandos planned to leave the woman halfway. Aga cursed him as a scum. Unexpectedly, this struck a nerve in Bandos's pride. He grabbed Aga and threatened her. I will come back and destroy your village. Having said that, Bandos left Aga behind and drove away. The girl crawled up, covering her battered body. Unbeknownst to her, a car was approaching from behind. The person inside was the witch Alina. She leaned closer to Aga and asked, Do you want revenge? In the dead of night, the commander dreamed he was trapped in a chamber, surrounded by ritualistic tools. Strange runes adorned the walls. The ominous dream frightened him, making it hard to sleep. Just then, Bandos happened to walk by. He was likely in a hurry to take a leak. After finishing, Bandos was about to leave, when he noticed a pool of blood on the ground. This blood in the urine was not a good sign. Meanwhile, an old soldier squatted on the ground, searching for toys he had stolen during the day. He wanted to pick one to take home for his child. The old soldier had been forced to enlist. Truly helpless, he just wanted to return home and reunite with his family. The old soldier was looking at a photo of his wife and child, when suddenly the witch's voice rang in his ears. He was instantly frozen in place. Alina was about to kill the old soldier, but caught sight of the photo in his hand. Alina suddenly had an idea. She took the photo from him, and used a spell of misdirection. She made the patrolling soldiers, mistake the leaves on the ground for cash. They happily crouched down, picking up money. They had no time to consider whether someone had intruded. The next morning, all the soldiers received a text message. It read, This forest will become your grave. The content was the same, as the note the lieutenant had vomited. Moreover, Mike had discovered strange grass figures nearby. This indicated, that while they were sleeping last night, an outsider had entered the camp. Killing them all in secret, would not be difficult at all. The commander was very angry because of this. He immediately called over the soldiers on duty. The commander immediately knew he was lying, so he went to find another soldier who had been on duty last night. The soldier was not in the ranks. They quickly launched a search in the vicinity. Finally, they found the unfortunate man tied to a tree. His mouth was sewn shut with thread, and he couldn't speak. Meanwhile, Alina hid in the shadows. She tormented the scarecrow in her hands. Alina made movements with the scarecrow, and the soldier tied to the tree, bore corresponding wounds. Mike wanted to go rescue him, but the soldier suddenly exploded in place. Blood mixed with chunks of flesh, splattered onto Mike's face. The commander realized, Mike had stepped on a hidden landmine. On the other side, Alina's magic was overtaxed. Logically, she should have stopped to recover, but hatred drove her to continue the perilous path. Alina decided to harness the power of dark magic. A monster with a blackened body slowly crawled towards Alina's body. Then it transformed into a black mist and entered her mouth. At this moment, her aunt saw a crow fall to the ground. Dark clouds obscured the sun, accompanied by thunder and lightning. She realized Alina was absorbing the dark energy from the forest. So she entered the chamber to urge her to stop. But Alina was gradually transforming into a monster. She threw the photo of the old soldier's wife and child into the fire. Alina continued to cast her spell, ignoring her aunt's pleas, even if she became a monster. Alina also wanted those people to pay the price. In the next moment, the old soldier received a text message. He learned of the brutal deaths of his wife and child, unwilling to accept it. He called back to confirm, but the truth was undeniable. He was heartbroken and rushed to find the commander. The old soldier wanted to submit a request to go home for a while. But how could one take leave during wartime? The commander would certainly not agree. The old soldier looked at the constant stream of photos from the scene. He could hardly contain his anxious feelings, taking advantage of the driver's absence. He climbed into a tank. He recklessly drove forward. Suddenly, Alina appeared in front of him and continued to provoke the old soldier. Alina said his wife and child deserved to die. Hearing this, the old soldier charged at Alina. Unbeknownst to him, he had fallen into an illusion. The old soldier operated the tank and directly ran over a comrade in the camp, leaving a glaring trail of blood on the ground. The soldiers had no idea what was happening. They stripped the old soldier of his uniform and bound him in the snow to interrogate him. He was deep in despair 
and unable to defend himself, because no one else had seen the witch besides him. His comrades found no photos or messages of his wife and child's deaths on his phone. They concluded that the old soldier killed to defect. Thus, they executed him. The soldiers buried the old soldier's body. They gathered together to frolic. Unexpectedly, the camp was suddenly attacked. Everyone was startled and scattered in panic. The young man who had shot the old woman groggily got up and tried to run away. At this moment, he heard a piercing noise. He could only cover his head in pain. Bicycle bells can be heard in the smoke. The young soldier noticed an old woman's car parked ahead. Blood was dripping from it onto the ground. The young man thought he must have suffered a concussion from the fall. Where did the bicycle come from? The young soldier, frightened, raised his gun and started shooting. The commander heard the gunfire from his position. He quickly advanced towards the sound. Meanwhile, the soldiers were fleeing in a hurry. Unexpectedly, he turned and nearly collided with the old woman. He tumbled down the dirt slope and fell into a nearby ditch. The commander happened to arrive just then. The young soldier sighed in relief upon seeing him. The commander suddenly pulled out an unknown object and started drawing strange symbols on his forehead. When the others arrived, the soldier was already dead. Moreover, his entire heart had been removed. The commander saw the mark on his forehead and knew this was not the work of a beast. Mike was influenced by his mother and has a good understanding of witchcraft and dark magic, but the commander did not believe in such things. He said they were being targeted by a Ukrainian assassination squad. It was that group deliberately causing chaos. He urged everyone to remain vigilant that night. They must capture them all. Meanwhile, Alina was devouring the freshly dug out heart. She relied on this method to replenish her lost energy. Auntie couldn't help but dissuade her after seeing it. She was scratched by Alina. Alina was now on the brink of losing control. In the dead of night, several soldiers endured the cold on night watch. Suddenly, a cloud of smoke enveloped them. Then Alina appeared. The commander recognized her as the woman he had encountered when stopping a vehicle. But after inhaling the smoke, he felt weak all over. Before long, he lost consciousness. When everyone woke up, it was already the next morning. Strangely enough, no new casualties had occurred, but all the comrades' bodies were gone. The commander wanted to follow the drag marks to find the witch's lair, but Bandos felt a heat surging through his body. He decided to stay in the camp to wait for news. The commander took the others to act. At this moment, Bandos covered his stomach and ran to pee. He found that he was again experiencing blood in his urine. In the next moment, a centipede burrowed out from his body. He snatched away the insects and hurriedly fled to the car. Bandos drove to a nearby town, hoping to seek help from the locals. Unexpectedly, Aga approached him, holding an axe. Bandos desperately apologized. He saw Aga's attitude soften a bit. Bandos instinctively reached for his gun. Seeing this, Aga immediately chopped off his wrist. This time, Aga did not hesitate. He cleaved Bandos's skull open. Meanwhile, the commander and the others chased into a grove. They discovered dismembered bodies hanging from the trees. Several crows perched above, pecking at the rotting flesh. A frightened soldier muttered to himself, We must have angered God. After saying this, he committed suicide. At the same time, Alina emerged from the woods. The commander immediately ordered everyone to shoot. After a burst of frantic gunfire, Alina vanished without a trace. She dragged her weak body back to her aunt's house. Her back was riddled with bullets. She knew those people would soon come looking for her. So Alina urged her aunt to leave quickly. The commander indeed followed the blood trail to the vicinity. Mike, who was with him, reached his breaking point. He didn't want to invade another country and die meaninglessly in a foreign land. After saying this, he prepared to leave. He was shot dead by the commander because that was the fate of a coward. Now, including the commander, only four remained. They arrived at the cabin where Alina was hiding. The commander assigned two to check outside. He took A Chang inside the cabin. They quickly discovered a hidden chamber behind the wall. As the commander just squeezed in, he saw fresh blood on the ground. This meant that Alina must be hiding here. The two cautiously moved forward and accidentally glanced at the mirror on the wall. They found their reflections were injured. A Chang thought about giving up. Just then, Alina's voice came from behind them. He was startled and turned to shoot wildly, but he accidentally shattered a glass jar on the shelf. Some corrosive solution splashed onto A Chang's face, instantly melting away his face. The commander shot him dead immediately. At the same time, 
the two soldiers patrolling outside, got into a dispute over a trivial issue, they even started to fight, the two were like combative roosters, in the yard, a fight broke out, one person even shot, and killed his comrade, this happened without Alina lifting a finger, one was already dead, the scene shifted back indoors, the commander seized Alina from the shadows, and pinned Alina to the table, humiliating her, the commander was enjoying, the pleasure of tormenting his enemy, but he suddenly realized, Alina was standing behind him, the one pinned beneath him, was clearly a soldier on patrol, Alina struck the commander, sending him flying, then she ripped out the heart of the last soldier, Alina was about to turn, and deal with the commander, when her aunt suddenly rushed in, she told Alina, actually, you are pregnant, you can still stop now, hearing this, the commander got up, and took the ant hostage, unfortunately, he forgot he was facing a witch, Alina cast a spell, causing the commander's gun to malfunction, then she knocked him to the ground, she looked at her reflection in the mirror, she indeed saw a big belly, logically, witches were not supposed to be able to conceive, but Andre had given her a miracle, in the end, Alina agreed to let the commander go, for her aunt's sake, but she took away his sanity, turning him into a complete fool, nine months later, Alina's child was born, this new life pulled her back from the brink, giving Alina a reason to live, the film ends here, it's a slasher film centered around a witch's revenge, the script is quite formulaic, being a low budget film, it overall feels rather poorly made, fortunately, some of the soldiers deaths were unique, adding quite a bit of watchability to the film, with a third rate script and third rate actors, it's an unremarkable but passable film, if you enjoy my channel, please click subscribe,